Hey everybody, welcome to Morning Coffee. My name is Eric. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope everyone's doing well today. I hope everyone had a great day yesterday. Um, there was still some purging going on, but yesterday there was, I feel like there was a lot of clarity that happened. Um, yeah. So we're just going to get into it today. We'll see. This is just going to be a general reading for your day. This is for messages for Wednesday, October 17th, 2018. Keep in mind, guys, that even though these messages or these readings are being done today, the messages can resonate. They can either resonate now or they could resonate in the future. These are just the messages that the divine wants to bring to us at this moment. It doesn't necessarily have to resonate right now. Also keep in mind that this is a general reading and it is not sign specific and it's also not love, career, or anything else specific. This is, these are just the messages, the energies for your day, yeah? So please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. With that said, let's get into it, guys. All right. <laughs> Yay, morning coffee. <laughs> okay, here we go, kids. Sorry, <laughs> moving some stuff out of the way. Okay. Hey, spirit. Please make me a clear channel for the collective today. Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good for the day of Wednesday, October 17th, 2018. Thank you so much, Spirit. Okay, guys, so I'm seeing kind of a green color now. So um, the purging has happened. Okay, all right. Cool. Now, don't get me wrong. There's still maybe some purging energies. There's still maybe some purging going on. Um, but I feel like for... And, yeah, the divine is saying, for the most part, it's done for now. Like, this cycle of purging is pretty much over. <laughs> and now they're saying, so now we deal with the aftermath. What comes with the aftermath? Well, the healing. And so that's why I'm seeing the green color. Um, but actually, it's, it's a little bit of green, but it's more like white. So I... I feel like this is probably just a really restful energy. Um, this is a protective energy. There's another color that's underneath this white that I'm having trouble seeing. It's kind of like a gray, but not really. I'm I, And I can't really put my finger on it. I don't really know what it means. There's just something back there. <laughs> There's something back there, guys. <laughs> but anyway, let's see. I'm going to shuffle this one more time. And then let's see what comes out for the day. Wednesday... October 17th, 2018. Awesome. Okay, guys. Let's see what we've got for the day. October. Oops. There was a card that's... Okay. All right. Okay, we've got some Queen of Cups. Okay. Let's see. Let's just look into this so far. We've got the Queen of Cups. The Ten of Cups, the Knight of Swords in reverse, and the Star, I'm sorry, the Star is in reverse, but it's, we've also got, I'm sorry, the Knight of Swords is not in reverse. Um, okay. So yeah, here's the healing that I'm talking about here with that green color. And it's funny because I saw the green before. But then as I was looking into it, once I became aware of what it was, all of a sudden it became clouded. Um, and that's when the white came in. And so uh, this, the, here's the healing that's going on here. Okay, so we're definitely healing right now, and that's great. Um, but there's still a little bit of lack of hope with the star in reverse. It's almost like all is lost, or we feel we may feel like all is lost, but all is not lost here. Um, we've got the Queen of Cups, we've got the Ten of Cups, and we have the Knight of Swords. So there's, it's like... It's like this energy of wanting to rush in um, and communicate. There's an energy uh, with the Knight of Swords here. There's an energy of wanting, uh, maybe wanting to apologize. It's just this frantic energy of wanting to rush in and communicate about something. And what that has, to, and that's absolutely driven by this Queen of Cups situation here. Okay, so we're probably feeling quite emotional today. Some might be really feeling quite emotional. Some might be um, really psychically attuned, aware, um, um, maybe more than usual, 
Also, if you've been going through this purging, you probably could be really opening up your psychic centers as you clear away and as, um, as you know, so a lot of these energies clear away. And um, it's all in service of this Knight of Cups here. I feel an energy of some people being aware of what is truly fulfilling for them or what could truly be fulfilling for them. Um, a lot of this purging could have helped you understand that on a greater level and so now there's there's this there's this desire to rush in um and communicate or just like be that knight in shining armor it's an interesting it's really an interesting energy that i'm getting from that um and it's funny because um i have this song emotions when i woke up this morning this song emotions from uh, which is in the destiny's child version it's a remake um i'm pretty sure a lot of you have heard that song uh, I believe it was off the Survivor album, but I woke up with that in my head this morning, and it's been a really interesting situation. So it could be, that could, I mean, a message, this could be the Divine Masculine here to really desiring to rush in. Um, rush in and make change and change things and like, you know, make things right, make things better, that kind of thing. I want to get some clarification here. First, I want to clarify. Um, I want to clarify this Knight of Swords first. What's going on with the Knight of Swords here? Oh no! Whoa! 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 Oh my goodness! Okay. Um, we're gonna we're gonna take all of this. Okay, look at here. Look at here. Look at here. On the bottom of the jack. Oh, excuse me, on the bottom of the deck we have Judgment. Um, and I'm being told that this is the rest of our reading here. So I'm just going to take this. We've got the Knight of Cups, the Eight of Pentacles, the Decadence, which in this deck, I'm not I'm not sure what that is, but we'll get to that in a second. The Three of Cups, the Fool, the Hermit, the Eight of Cups, and the second Seven of Pentacles. Okay, so this is clarifying our whole reading here. All right, um, card number 16 Oh man, I wonder what is this? Is this the devil? I think I think I think card number sixteen is the devil. Um, let me just double check here. Do 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 do. Hold, bear with me, guys. Oh no, it's the tower. Aha, aha, it's the tower. Okay. <laughs> um, this is very interesting, guys. This is very, very interesting. So, we have here, there was a tower moment. Okay, and this tower moment has helped. Uh, this, tower, this tower moment was, what I'm picking up here, this tower moment was influenced by the Three of Cups. And this Three of Cups energy, this is like... Yes, this is this in this sense I'm reading this as a third party. But this is a third party that was more on the social level, um, even if it was just like one night stands or stuff like that. This was not really there was no real depth to this to these situations to this, you know, third party energy. It was very superficial, very vapid, very much on the surface. Um, no one really wanted to get too close to anyone, too deep, even if it, and, and this could be all of the parties involved. Um, this also could just be, you know, a single individual that was kind of hiding from something that was um, making it seem like everything was okay, um, partying all the time, really also always looked really happy, like they were having a lot of fun, but in, deep down there was a deep sorrow, a deep fear um, around something. And so, <laughs> Um, what happened here is there was some sort of tower moment that happened and now because of that somebody wants to rush in and make amends, apologize, uh, maybe even tell the truth, come clean about something here because then also we have the fool, okay? So, and the fool is, is going right here. So this is, again, this is an energy of someone wanting to start over, okay? 
Wow. Um, just to, just to clarify here, we've got Aquarius, we've got um, Gem, uh, not Gemini, we've got uh, Herm, uh, Virgo. We've got Virgo with the her Hermit. Um, we've got a uh, Water Signs, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. We've got Air Signs. Uh, with the Knight of Swords, so Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, but honestly, this is not sign specific, so I, I really don't even know why I just said all that, but anyway. Okay, and so here's the thing, and on the Ten of Cups here, we've got the Knight of Cups with the Eight of Pentacles. So someone is wanting to do some, is wanting to work towards making some sort of offer, okay? Um... But it really doesn't feel, it, and there's real, it's, it's really interesting, there's real sorrow here. In the Eight of Pentacles, someone is kind of reluctantly doing their work at this point, or someone is just working hard towards something. You could be, you know, could there is an energy of drowning oneself in work right now, but um, what I'm getting here is that... This is really this is a really sorrowful sorrowful energy as someone is you know trying to work towards um, communicating in some way with the Knight of Cups. Someone wants to send some sort of offer. Again, this could be an apology. This could be an invitation. Um, someone may have wanted to send an invitation, but but <laughs> because of these energies of someone walking away here with the Eight of Cups. Um, and kind of going into hermit mode, um, there's a little bit of an energy. Again, there's still an energy of reaping what you've sown. Now, if you have walked away, if you're the person that has walked away from a certain situation, again, this is not love specific, okay? This could really be anything, all right? But um, if you are the person that has walked away here, um, you're really taking this time to understand the situation, to understand, again, this is a lot, this is still some of the purgy energy here, but I really feel like at this point, for whoever I'm connecting with on this, you've gone through the purge, um, and you've actively walked away, and you've actively pulled yourself up out of the depths here. So there is a bit of a harvest on the horizon for you. Um, it's almost, it feels, it literally like the universe is showing me, for some of us, the universe, or for some of you, whoever I'm connecting with, for some of you, there's an energy of being congratulated um, and, you know, being rewarded for pulling yourself out with the Eight of Cups here, pulling yourself out of whatever this toxic situation is. Whatever energy, whoever is holding this energy here with the Knight of Cups, the Decadence, which is the... Um, the tower, uh, the three of cups, and now this, as a result, this fool energy. Um, whoever's holding this energy here is toxic, or at least this situation is toxic here, all right? And somebody has really, you know, seen that, seen that for what it is, and is deciding to walk away. And it's kind of being a little bit of a hermit. So again, if you are, if you have been going through these purgy energies and you've kind of pulled yourself out of it, you may still feel like you just want to keep to yourself. Um, just stay where you are, not really, a, not really socialize too much, not really, you know, because there is still a little bit of healing that you're going through, okay? There's still a little bit of an introspection that you're going through. Now, for the person or the situation that's being walked away, that's been walked away from, Again, you may there now you may not be in hermit mode. You actually some of these people they may still be dealing with the three of cups in a sense, but that's because it's a coping me mechanism. It's like they they're learning how to they're learning how to cope with things differently. Okay, um, at some point someone's got to choose to stop running to this situation in order to heal or cope with things. And instead, just go within, okay, with the hermit. Um, but now there's need for introspection here for the per for the person or situation that's been walked away from, um, because in essence they reap they're reaping what they've sown with the seven of pentacles, and so it's it's there's this need, um, oh even a desire I'm hearing there's a desire to there's a desire to. I forget what I was, I had something here and it's left me. There's a desire to understand this differently. There's, from a different perspective, there's a desire to grow, heal, expand. 
And with the eight of what the eight of cups is he's telling me here is that this literally had to happen this way. Okay, someone had to finally just move on and say enough is enough. I'm just not going to deal with this anymore. Um, in order for this to really be, in order for this lesson to be learned, okay, and and underneath the deck, the, underneath the deck, you have the judgment, and the judgment came out yesterday. Um, you know, this is the overall energy. This is the underlying theme. This is all part of the process. All right. So if you're going through some rough stuff, just hang in there. And I really think the central message right now is to maintain faith. All right. Because you've got the star. But the star is in reverse. So um, this is just saying have hope, have faith. All is not really completely lost here. Okay. There's still a chance... Um, for some reconciliation here because we have the judgment. When and how that's going to happen, I'm not sure. But I would recommend that um, this Knight of Swords energy be kept at bay as much as possible, all right? Instead of approaching it from a Knight of Swords energy, I think it would be much better to approach the situation from a Knight of Cups energy, okay? But you see here, with in that situation, you're going to need to jump from this side of the spectrum to this side of the spectrum, okay? From the energies of, you know, the tower and, um, you know, socially drowning yourself in order to cope um, there's going to be an acceptance. You're going to have to do the work to accept the emotions. You're going to have to do the work to accept what it needs you to, to, you know, to do what it is you need to do in order to, um, realize this 10 of cups. Okay. Also, I'm being guided to say that the 10 of cups energy really doesn't have, doesn't necessarily come from external situations you have to find it within first okay you have to find that acceptance of it you have to find that acceptance of yourself you have to find that self-love in order to know that you deserve to have the ten of cups all right and then it will truly come in and some for some of you for some of you this work that you need to do and why then a lot of why this so the somber look is here on this eight of pentacles is because you need to re-identify what it is what it truly what it is that truly is your ten of cups because i really i'm picking up that some of you have been working towards some things that don't necessarily fulfill you in the way that you wanted them to and that could be part of your tower moment here Okay, heavy energies, but, you know, <laughs> it's a heavy period. It's a heavy time. So, yes, I caught that. I'm not going to repeat it, though. <laughs> All right, let's get into your oracle cards here. Let's see what you've got from the Crystal Vandala. There it is. Sacred Revolution. Goddess Kali and Black Obsidian. Okay. Let's see what we got here. Um, I'll just leave it there. Okay, number 46. Hmm. Okay, Sacred Revolution. We bring you the empowerment of Sacred Revolution. Revolution comes when a cycle of authority or power is ending. It has become inadequate for the task of leadership now required, and a new order must be established in its place. It is not simply a chapter within a book drawing to a close, but an entirely new book, perhaps an entirely new genre, opening up according to divine will unfolding. In such cases, subtle change is not going to cut it. Hello, tower moment. You need radical action to bring about the new order. That new order may be in your world or in your own being. When revolution is sacred, the new order will 
will be that which always, I'm sorry, which allows you to become more of yourself to successfully attain your spiritual goals. Absolutely. And what are we trying to attain here but this Ten of Cups? Okay. Excellent. 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 Um, let's see. <laughs> Again, I'm sorry, guys. Okay. Here, let's. I'm gonna read this part. Okay, here we go. In our inner world, the hysteria and panic might relate to letting go of a relationship we believe is our life raft, when in truth, if we keep holding on to it, it's going to pull us right over the edge of a cliff down a life-ending waterfall. Or perhaps it is a way of relating to power based in fear rather than loving empowerment. No matter how hard we try, we just can't seem to give up our attachment to feeling in control. Or, we are so attached to the life we have known, we aren't willing to fly free from the nest, stretching our wings and discovering our destiny. Where greater methods aren't effective and divine timing requires change to happen now, sacred revolution is invoked. Kali may stomp into your life and kick you out of the nest so that you realize you can fly. She may rip the life raft out of your hands, causing you to sputter temporarily until you stand up and realize you can just walk safely out of the rampaging water, a river. Or she may knock the control freak domination, um, I'm sorry, she may knock the control freak dominating your mind on the head and step up, I'm sorry, and set up her own temporary divine dictatorship where she simply repeats, love yourself and let go until you do just that. When the Oracle of Sacred Revolution comes to you, you can be sure that you and your life are going to change. It might feel as if your hand is forced or even if you are choosing to go with the process that is wild and out of control, out of your control. It will be, but that doesn't make it uninvolved, I'm sorry, unloving or unsafe. When revolution is sacred, it is divine love realigning your life. And although we will probably be I'm sorry, um, although there will probably be chaos, you can be sure that the new order eventually imposed will be worth it. Viva la revolution! <laughs> That's actually a really perfect message here for the day. Um, and, and the energies that are going on here, all right? Uh, especially with the judgment. I mean, that's a second chance. It's a rebirth. It's, um, yeah, realignment also is what I'm hearing. But we are very much in our feelings today. Very much in our feelings today, kids, with the Queen of Cups, okay? All right, so let me get into the Whispers of Love Oracle for the day. Whispers of Love Oracle for the day, Wednesday, October 17th. Wednesday, October 17th. Okay, that's way too many. Just, okay, okay. All right, cool. Let's just, this is just, just a couple of messages here. Nothing too crazy, please. Wait, Wednesday. Wednesday, October 17th. Like a ton of cards just want to come out today, but I'm trying to keep this as short as possible. Woo! Take this one. All right. Underneath the deck, we've got love is all around you. There is love everywhere at the, all the time. Simply acknowledge this as truth. That's, I really feel like that's definitely a message that needs to be heard today because for a lot of us that are just going through, still going through the purgy energies or still feeling regret or loss, even though, you know, the five of cups didn't come out, five of pentacles didn't come out. Um, I still feel like there are some people that are kind of like, well, shit, what do I do now? But just understand, wow. And understand that love is in fact all around you, no matter what you're going through. But the official message of the day Honesty is essential. To be a loving person, it is important that we speak truthfully 
and in a loving manner, okay? And that's definitely the energy I was getting here with the Knight of Swords. Somebody wants to come in, speak truth, um, wants to rush in towards a reconciliation. There's also energies of wanting to in, uh, wanting to give an invitation to something. Um, I don't know what that would be, but, you know, maybe just even if it's just like a date or whatever. I don't know. What, who knows? Um, yeah. That's pretty, it's a beautiful message. Oh, and also, ha, 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 38. This is card number 38. Boils down to an 11. Boop. Yeah, guys. Okay. So there it is. There are your messages for the day. Thank you so much for tuning in, guys. I hope this is helpful for you. And I hope everyone has a great day. Yeah? I look forward to connecting with you again tomorrow. Have a great one, guys. Much love. Mwah. Bye.